Hello everyone, welcome to Dentomedia YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about armamentarium for access cavity preparation. Let's get started. The preparation of an access cavity requires the following equipment, magnification and illumination, hand pieces, burrs, endodontic explorers, endodontic spoon, ultrasonic unit and tips, magnification and illumination. The access cavity is best prepared with the use of magnification and an appropriate light source. In lieu of a DOM, surgical loops with an auxiliary light source are highly recommended, hand pieces. Most phases of access preparation with a high-speed hand piece. After penetration of the dentin, a less experienced clinician may benefit from the increased tactile awareness offered by a slow-speed hand piece. For challenging access cavity preparations, especially those involving calcified and reseated pulp chambers, the slow-speed handpiece or an ultrasonic tip used with the DOM, BURS. In reality, creating an access cavity that meets the previously stated guidelines is more important than worrying about which burrs are used in the process. Numerous burrs have been developed exclusively for access cavity preparation round carbide burr used extensively in the preparation of access cavities. They are used to excavate caries and to create the initial external outline shape. They also are useful for penetrating through the roof of the pulp chamber and for removing the roof. The number 2, number 4, and number 6 surgical length carbide round burrs provide extended reach and improved vision during the entry into the pulp chamber. Fisher carbide burr or diamond burr with a rounded cutting end. The advantage of the Fisher carbide and diamond round end burrs is that they also can be used for some of the axial wall extensions of the access cavity preparation. However, when these burrs are used for this purpose by inexperienced clinicians, their cutting ends can gouge the pulp floor and axial walls. Diamond round burr when the access must be made through porcelain or metalloceramic restorations. Diamond burrs are less traumatic to porcelain than carbide burrs and are more likely to penetrate the porcelain without cracking or fracturing it. A number 2 diamond round burr is appropriately sized for bicuspid and anterior teeth, whereas the number 4 diamond round burr is generally the right size for molar teeth. Fisher carbide and diamond burrs with safety tips, i.e., non-cutting ends, are safer choices for axial wall extensions. They can be used to extend and favorably orient the axial walls of the pulp chamber. Because they have no cutting end, the burrs can be allowed to extend to the pulp floor, and the entire axial wall can be moved and oriented all in one plane from the enamel surface to the pulp floor, transmetal burr. The transmetal burr is specifically designed for cutting any type of metal. This burr has a sawtooth blade configuration which provides efficiency while reducing unwanted vibration, especially important when entering pulpitis or so-called hot teeth. Endo access burr is a friction grip, stainless steel burr with special diamond-coated round tip that matches round burrs of size number 2, number 4, and number 6 with a diamond shaft for smooth henning and shaping the access walls. These burrs are useful for initial and final access preparations. These burrs combine both penetration and smooth henning capabilities. Endo Z burr The Endo Z burr is a tapered and safe ended carbide burr. This burr is popular in that its non cutting end can be safely placed directly on the pulpal floor without a risk of perforation. The Endo Z burr's lateral cutting edges are used to flare, flatten, and refine the internal axial walls. Great whites are friction grip. Crosscut Fisher burrs used for access preparation and removal of restoration. These effectively cut through semi precious and non precious metals and ceramics, LN burr, Extendo burr, Muller burr. It is a right angled, tungsten steel half round burr mounted on a long neck. The 28 mm length allows deep drilling alongside posts or broken instruments for easier removal and for locating small canal in the roots. The 32 mm Muller burr is a right angle but similar in design and function to the LN burr. Its round burr, mounted on a long neck is available in 6 diameter sizes, Munz Discovery, MD, 
Burrs They are 34 mm long round carbide tipped troughing burrs with stiff shafts that are 1 mm in diameter. These burrs are available in four sizes, hashtag 1 slash 2, number 1, number 2 and number 4. All sizes have the same shaft diameter. These burrs are used for safely locating calcified canals and exposing separated instruments deep within radicular structures. Multipurpose burr The male leafer multipurpose burr is a versatile instrument made from tungsten carbide. The burr is excellent for a variety of procedures including, initial endodontic access, sectioning of impacted molars, cutting of teeth at root level, root separation and amputation of broken roots. Which burr do you use for access cavity preparation and why? Tell us in comments section, endodontic explorers. Various hand instruments are useful for preparing access cavities. The DG16 Endodontic Explorer is used to identify canal orifices and to determine canal angulation. An alternative, the JW17 Endodontic Explorer serves the same purpose, but it's thinner, stiffer tip can be useful for identifying the possible location of a calcified canal, endodontic spoon. It can be used to remove coronal pulp and carious dentin. A number 17 operative explorer, which can also be found as a double-dented instrument with the DG16, is useful for detecting any remaining overhang from the pulp chamber roof, particularly in the area of a pulp horn of anterior teeth, ultrasonic unit and tips. Specifically designed for endodontic procedures can be valuable aids in the preparation of access cavities. They can be used to trough and deepen developmental grooves to remove tissue and explore for canals. Provide excellent visibility compared with conventional handpiece heads, which typically obstruct vision. Fine ultrasonic tips are smaller than conventional round burrs, and their abrasive coatings allow clinicians to sand away dentin and calcifications conservatively when exploring for canal orifices. We hope you liked our video, please like. Share and subscribe our channel to get latest videos, thank you for watching.